Welcome to Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. I'm your host, Carol Clark, and at the time we are recording this podcast, it is actually back to school time. You may be tired of hearing about it. Perhaps you have little kiddos going back to school, you have grandkids going back to school, kids heading off to college or graduate school, or maybe you're taking classes yourself for your professor who's getting back into the swing of doing some professor side things that you do in addition to your weight loss practice. But bottom line, it's back to school and it's no different for your patients. And this can be a really great time for you and your practice to either promote or create if you don't have a solid education program for all of your weight loss patients, be it weight loss surgery patients or medical weight loss patients. It's something that's really helpful. I'm gonna share with you some important reasons why patient education can uh, be very beneficial to your practice. One of them that we're focusing on in membership this month is uh, patient education as a predictable profit center. So whether you charge for your education or not, or you roll it into some of your program fees, or it's uh, some other way that you're actually able to to uh, evolve this into your practice or create it and implement it in your practice, it can be a very predictable revenue stream should you choose to charge for it. But it also has to be something of total value to the patient, convenient to use, and also something that really keeps them engaged. So here's some of those important reasons why uh, patient education as a predictable profit center can be really important in your practice. The first thing is, it differentiates you from your com competitors. So when people come there and you have a whole program you've created or that you have white labeled or you've customized and you deliver that in your membership site or your app or a private Facebook page or however you decide to do that, a private YouTube channel, there's so many ways and I've seen it work in many different ways. But when you have that, it really differentiates you from other practices because you know people don't really feel like they need education. If they want education, they'll just go to Dr. Google and they'll look it up, which uh, I know in and of itself can be kind of annoying. However, it is the reality out there. But if you have a program that helps to really support them throughout their weight loss journey, it is really important that it will differentiate you from com your competitor. The other thing that it has been shown to do is to improve patient outcomes because patients not only are losing weight, but they're actually figuring out why uh, the things that you're telling them to do is important to them and their particular metabolism. So it involves those lab results that you review with them, they're, if they're having a procedure uh, for weight loss surgery, really making sure they understand how to use their new tool. For those that are losing uh, weight medically, just that whole metabolic background and making sure they understand why lean body mass is so important why they need to focus on not losing all their muscle as they're losing weight, so not just looking at that number on the scale, why their body composition matters, how their macronutrients play into that, their level of fitness, their resistance training, all of that are things that you know that they need to know whether they think they need to know that or not, it's really important to make sure that you're communicating that. So it improves patient outcomes they, because they have much more of an understanding as to why they're doing what it is that they're doing. And so that adds to their why in terms of their motivation. Uh, so whether they're losing it for um, you know an event coming up or just to get healthier, uh, to lose the pounds that they gained during the pandem pandemic, whatever the reasoning may be. The other thing it does is it increases engagement. It helps keep you in front of your patients and you interacting with them regularly so that they are engaged and they are coming back to your practice, making sure they're showing up for their appointments, that they're utilizing your products and services and really, really increasing that whole engagement. The other thing that that education does is it actually complements in-person or online coaching, depending on what your model is. Some models have changed quite a bit, I've seen, especially since the pandemic. We've been uh, implementing that in many different practices, some more virtual things online, uh, and also combinations with on-site. So this helps to augment that and keep you top of mind during the times if you're just doing uh, online. But you, for example, if you're doing online or on-site, uh, visits, you can actually, when you have your education materials created, if somebody's struggling in a particular area, say it's saboteurs or someone in their life, and you have an educational uh, quick uh, video or uh, something you've created for that to help them, you can just send it right to them, right in your patient portal or through your membership site or uh, email or text, however you're communicating best with your patients or however they desire to get that communication. So it's something that can be really easily uh, done so that you can uh, complement what you're doing in-house. You can also, in many systems, 
you can actually set it up to automatically drip to them or be sent to them on a regular basis so that you are really showing up on a regular basis with them. So those are all really positive things. The other thing, it systematizes your education. It saves time. Don't you find you're saying, uh, even though you're customizing it to your patients, you're saying a lot of the same things over and over and over again. So this gives you a way to help customize it, systematize it so that they are getting that information on a regular basis and also sporadically from you when you know that they need that information the most. So you can provide that on a regular systematized basis. basis. It saves your time, it saves your team's time. Granted, it is more work up front, but like anything, you invest on that front end and it really pays dividends in the in, on the back end. It also adds marketing assets. You may be creating a very in-depth educational program, uh, even though we need to do it in uh, easy bite-sized pieces, uh, but you can also take that and highlight it out to uh, the general public. Here's what we're going through. This is what we we deliver in our practice here, or just cover the topic, but it provides you with the, uh, the data that you have or the information that you have. You put it into uh, a quick video about it, and it helps to just uh, really increase uh, your marketing assets that you have in your back pocket and gives you something to talk about online. The seventh thing it does is it can be an additional revenue stream. You don't have to do that, but for a lot of different programs, especially when you invest that time and it's differentiating you from others and people start to clamor to want it, you can actually charge for it. It can also be turned into a evergreen or uh, a evergreen meaning that it's out there all the time for people to purchase online. Maybe it's a standalone product. You can do lots of different things. Uh, we've done that both for medical weight loss and surgical weight loss. I've helped other practices do that, uh, but it's something that can be readily available for you to sell online too. So there's lots of different things you can do to add that revenue. It also just has some extra things. It showcases the expertise of you and your team so that people can see what makes you different, how you communicate, how you really do have a lot of the in-depth information that they need in order to be successful. It also can generate uh, what we call little freebies or lead capture that you can do on your website. So perhaps you have an educational program, but you take the top seven tips or the top few tips and you put that into a really uh, attractive and desirable uh, lead magnet or something freebie that they can download on your uh, website. And then that increases your email list and gives you more of an opportunity to keep in touch with them and to con continue to communicate with them and hopefully have them turn into, uh, you know, really some raving patients of yours as well. It keeps people coming back because what you have to offer is fresh. You have a lot of great information. And then finally, it also allows uh, you another um, outlet to promote all of your different services. So as your emails are going out, as you're leading them back to your website, you can actually be sharing all the other wonderful things that you do and help to uh, share that with them so they can see that and hopefully participate in the, those as well if it's uh, something of desire to them. So having education, I know it's back to school, so I'm using that as a excuse to get this out to you, but I want to make sure you know how important that is, how you can create that uh, in a systematized format and how you can then systematize that in your practice, have it as an additional revenue stream if you if you choose to, uh, or just really differentiate yourself from your competitor and provide your patients with exactly what they need. There's so many different ways to do it. We're going into that deeper in membership and one-on-one -on -one with different uh, groups, but I wanted to make sure I shared that out there to you. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have additional questions, we've actually revamped the entire website and uh, you can even get to it now easily just by Carol Clark, K-A-R-O-L-C-L-A-R-K.com. That leads to the Weight Loss Practice Builder site as well. Or just email me, Carol, K-A-R-O-L at weightlosspracticebuilder.com. I love getting to know new practices and uh, helping them um, meet or exceed the goals that they have for their business and for their team and, and for their practice overall. So in the meantime, I hope you have a great great day and everybody has a wonderful school year and I look forward to talking soon. Thanks.